So what is BIM Plus? BIM Plus is a cloud-based collaboration platform designed for project communication. It gives you the ability to collaborate with all different project stakeholders and trades in one area. Uh, it's web-based, so it means you can access it with any browser. You can access it on a computer or on a tablet. You can access it in the office or in the field. So you're not restricted to some of the old school things where uh, it just was strictly on the computer. This is opened up to where everybody can have a place at the table on this horizontal platform. You can upload various types of models, including IFCs and SketchUp files. There are also direct links uh, to All Plan and to Rivet, so two big names in the industry. The newest feature to roll out is the direct upload from SDS2 to BIM Plus, meaning with the click of a button, you can upload not only the model, but the detail, gather sheets, and erection sheets directly to BIM Plus. Huge time savings um, over maybe the old school method of having to bring in drawings and then link them individually. We're going to be able to help you do that automatically right out of SDS2. And you can also use this as a document management system. It supports various types of documents, such as PDFs, DWGs, etc. You can control that. You can watch revisions, things like that. Along with uh, model management and document management, you can manage changes to your models. You can coordinate with other trades through clash detection and scheduled simulations. Like we talked about, you can bring in IFCs from each one of these different platforms into BIM Plus and then do that clash detection and the reporting. Um, you have the ability to store and review any model or drawing or even compare model revisions and see the changes in real time, right? So we can overlay, we can look at color coding and see what changed from version to version of each different submittal. And with all of that, you have the ability to create slideshows for project presentations. Um, maybe you are having to continue going up the chain, right? Maybe we're trying to uh, give something to the product owner or to, you know, to let them know where we're at in the construction process, how far uh, the project's come along, how much iron's been hanging, so on. Whatever that looks like, you can create uh, those types of presentations. You can also create and assign tasks uh, and then manage issues through the issue manager. And, you know, some of those tasks might be, uh, you know, RFIs or, um, uh, I don't know, field issues, things like that. You can assign those out. Getting that communication to the right people at the right time uh, in real time so that they're getting automatic emails and these things are crossing their, their inbox as they're needed. So that's where BIM Plus comes in. So how does it work? Um, it all starts with creating a project. So you can either create a project in BIM Plus on uh, the web-based platform, or through the SDS2 direct upload, you can create a new project that way as well. Uh, then you create groups of members. So members being people, and you can see I have some of those silos uh, tied in together horizontally right here on the slide. So maybe that group looks like uh, by stakeholder or by trade. Maybe if we're doing a steel review, it's the engineer and the general contractor. Uh, and then maybe, I don't know, a subcontractor that might be working on, I don't know, uh, light gauge steel or something like that that's going to be on there. However you want to group members, you can do that. Uh, and then you're going to start uploading your models and uh, your documents as well. And then you're going to start notifying people to come in here and review these things. And you're going to have automatic notifications that are coming out automatically uh, when you change things inside of that environment. When you issue something, you can have it pushed out automatically. Uh, Model review, addressing field issues, handling RFIs, things I mentioned before, all examples of tasks that can be done in a collaborative horizontal workflow space, uh, ensuring that all stakeholders are up to speed on the project 100% of the time. So let's do a little demonstration. Let's take a look at how BIM Plus works. 
I'm not going to go through and show you all of the different commands or all of the bells and whistles today. I'd rather address some workflow ideas and just get your brain rolling on how you could take this uh, and run with it. The reason I say they're ideas uh, is because I don't want to tell you how you should run this for you and your teams, right? Um, in all the years I've detailed, uh, I've come to learn that there's no one size fits all solution to a workflow. You're going to look at your facilities, you're going to look at your team members, your internal systems and the like, and you're going to decide how to implement this solution. I just want to provide a high level look today around maybe a couple of workflow ideas. One of those Model review. We work in a 3D environment. That's what we're producing. Uh, and then, you know, we've seen this this change over the last decade or two in kind of moving away from the 2D into the 3D space. Obviously, we're still going to have those drawings, but model review is a faster, uh, more feasible approach to getting design uh, submittals reviewed faster uh, and more efficiently. And then. You know, in trying to look at different workflows, right, I could sit here as a former detailer and say, oh, here's my erector workflow or here's my general contractor workflow. But that's not even realistic. Um, but what I really can talk about is a communication workflow. And I've kind of hit that in the last five, six, seven slides, right? I want to be able to, as the detailer, communicate directly with the architect on stair and rail submittals, communicate uh, directly with the GC or the field on field issues, loop in the engineer when we need to have a decision made on something that didn't fit upright and how we can make those field issues work get my RFIs into everybody's hands at once and give them a 3D look at what we're trying to solve. Uh, so like I said, communication workflow, that's kind of where I want to go today. I know it's very broad, but I think you're going to get my point as we go through. So with that, uh, I'll stop talking and showing slides and we'll get started.